What's up, folks? It's your boy BJT coming at y'all with another video. This is another episode of BJT Talks. So, first off, I want to start by saying, um, well, today is December 14th, 2017, Thursday. And I should have made this video on December 13th, 2017, which is Wednesday. But um, there's a lot that's been going on. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that my mind is on currently at the moment, so I didn't get around to it. So, sorry about that, but I'll do my best to stay on schedule. So, my bad. I'm going to get right with that. So, um, excuse me. Uh, today's video will be, well, the subject of today's video will be um, conflict slash problem solving. So this is episode three of BJP Talks, where I try to give advice on some things, put my personal opinion on some things and um, on a certain subject, and just really talk about it and go forth from there. Um, also, guys, be sure to give me some more subjects to talk about in these as well. But anyway, so here yeah, I wanted to show you guys a read a list of how to solve problems or affecting problem solving process. Um, I want to get some insight on this and you know go forth from there. So I said number one, identify the issues. Two, understand everyone's interest, which is true. Three, list the possible solutions. Four, evaluate the options. Five, select an option or options. And then six and seven don't really pertain to that. So this is solving problems in the workplace. But one through five, you can use those for pretty much anything, any problem that you have. I'm not necessarily talking about schoolwork or math problems, English problems you gotta do for homework. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like, conflict and problem solving with like people. So, okay. So there's two ways, two ways to go about uh, solving problems. It's the right way and a wrong way, slash conflict. So right way, I say that while, li while lifting up my left hand. But the right way to do things is say if you have a problem with, I guess, one specific person is to go to them and talk about it. Um, mano y mano, man to man, woman to woman, girl to girl, boy to boy, boy to girl, girl to boy, whatever. You know what I mean? So doing that and just um, speak from the heart, always be open and honest and give your opinion, personal opinion on whatever that problem or conflict, subject, whatever it may be. And remember to respect everyone's opinions. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So. Be sure to respect that and I guess go from there. I guess that's the mature way to solve things. It's just, if there's a problem with someone, you go to that person and be like, yo, I don't like this or this, this and that. I just made me feel this way. You know, can we talk about it? All right, cool, you know, sorry, you know, whatever. Or um, talk about it, you know, go out to dinner or call them on the phone or, you know, meet up, go to your friend's house, talk about it, you know, whatever, whatever the case may be. So just talk about it, talk it out. <coughs> Excuse me, talk it out and just figure out what the problem was, what the issue is. So this person who brought that issue forth to the other person, like, yo, I don't like how this happened, this isn't this. No, um, I feel like I could have went about it better. This is this, this person, okay. I respect your opinion on that. My opinion on it is this, 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 and this. Okay, I see where you're coming from. I see where your angle is. Okay, the solution to the problem. Well, I'll try not to do this next time, or I'll try not to do this next time, whatever. Okay, cool, it's all good. I'll love, be done with it, squash it, and uh, move on. So that was the right way to go about there. Sorry, that's the right way to go about things. So the wrong way, I say that as I lift up my right hand. Another way to um, a wrong way to go about things. Say if you have like a problem with someone, or one of your friends, or even like somebody you're not friends with, it's just like a problem or whatever. So instead of going to them about it, going to other people about it, instead of just like talking to them or just hitting them up, or at least put forth an effort to talk to them and hit them up about the situation. If they don't respond or if they're not trying to hear that, then you, you did your best. Oh well, but you know, especially like that's one of your friends, you all have that relationship. We all can talk about whatever, anytime, any day, any time of the week. Call them, text them, hit them up, meet up, whatever. Y'all can talk about whatever. It's all good then. Then you should be able to do that. So, I want to go about things instead of talking about the issue with them is to talk about it with like other people. Now, I can understand you getting insight or advice of the problem and wanting how to solve it. Like, yo, I have a problem or whatever. What do you think I should do about it? There's nothing wrong with that absolutely cool with that whatever but even when you get advice on the problem and all that kind of stuff you still got to bring that forth with that other person that you have the issue with originally so all that kind of stuff excuse the noise in the background so yeah but that would be a wrong way to not go to that person and talk about it like one-on-one -on -one and things like that and um, going to other people I guess are saying this this that and the third you know he say she say type of stuff you know immature stuff really and that's not really the good way about it. Um, not everybody has to know what y'all problem is. Social media doesn't have to know, or everybody else doesn't have to know, unless people who are involved or whatever. And you know, things get around, things spread around. That's just life. That happens. But 
um, do your best to kind of contain that and keep that under wraps between y'all and whoever else is involved in the situation. So in this case, one-on-one -on -one situation. So instead of um, talking about one-on-ones, asking other people about it, this, that, and the third, and then things can get mixed up, things can be misunderstood, and all this kind of stuff, and it'll just come out weird or whatever. Sometimes I'll be misunderstood or it'll be looked at a certain way and not the right way, in a mature way, whatever. But and not be that, then you have more than one problem then. So you have the original problem, and you're like, oh, you went about it, the problem this way, the wrong way, and that's a problem. And then the only like how they feel about that, that's a problem, you know, whatever. So all that kind of stuff. So that'd be the wrong way to do it. So for example, like I was talking to um, these two brothers and they were like, oh, I had a problem on the playground, you know, little kids, little kids at elementary school, whatever. You know, not really whatever, but you guys get what I'm saying. So that oh, this isn't this happened. So I went and got this person to do this kind of stuff. No, don't got people to fight your battles for you. That's just sort of a, a thing that I was taught and other people were also taught growing up is just handle things one-on-one -on -one with that person. Now you don't always have to fight or scrap how they like to say, but all that kind of stuff. But if both y'all mature, have a level of maturity, y'all can talk it out, especially if, it, especially if it's not that serious, especially if it's not that serious, then y'all can definitely do that. Not hard at all, but be sure to do that. Don't go about it the wrong, the wrong way and things like that. For example, I've had a problem where I went about it the wrong way and instead of um, talking to that person one-on-one, -on -one, this, that, and the third, you know, all that kind of stuff. So I was wrong, they admitted that all good and um, it just takes time. So just be sure to talk about your problems one on one with that person. It's okay to get advice and insight on things and all that kind of stuff. And also, if you're wrong in a situation, there's nothing wrong with admitting you're wrong. Nothing wrong with that at all. If you're wrong, if you're at fault, it's okay to admit that you're at fault. You're wrong, we're humans, we make mistakes. People make mistakes every single day, whether it might be school or you know it's in life whatever we make mistakes and we live and learn it's just like watching film for football you see that you made a mistake on film okay take that mistake learn from it get better next time or like from a, a cornerback standpoint you know um you you miss you missed the jam or this this your feet it wasn't like this okay you saw that learn from it go practice it fix it it's all good so that's like with problems too recognize the problem recognize the mistake that you made and you know admit to your own doing and this, this, that, and the third and just take it for what it is. It's like, okay, how can I get better with this? Take it like, all right, I did this. So I can't do that again. I gotta instead do this, do this the right way, do this the right way, get right with this and that, you know, admit your own doing and always own up to your issues, own up to your mistakes. If you make a mistake, like, yes, I did. I kind of stuff and be like, no, I didn't, no, 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 and being stubborn. But if you know, like truly in your heart that you did something wrong, it's okay to admit you're wrong. Hey, that's, that's part of growing up. That's part of life, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old and you know other people you guys are different ages as well you know what i'm trying to say though but like adults you know so that'd be a real adult way to go forth and things and you can be young and still do things the adult way there's nothing wrong with that at all maturity at any age is great especially a certain level of maturity just going up and up and up that's great that's amazing you know what i mean so all that kind of stuff so just so just be sure to talk about problems one-on-one -on -one. yeah people make mistakes sometimes they don't do it they get a little carried away i've been there other people i know have been there we've all been there but um, it happens, like I said, live and you learn, make mistakes, recognize it, just like watching film, recognize it, admit your wrongdoing, recognize it, be like, all right, got to get better with this and push yourself to get better. Now with problems, that may solve it, but it takes time to be like, you know, just kind of move on from it and that's okay. Everything takes time, all good things take time. So nothing that's really great is quickly, unless the problem is like really, really small, you're to solve it like that or whatever, but that's just up to you guys in your situation, whatever that may be. So. Yeah, basically just talk about a one-on-one -on -one and just um, go forth from there and um, solve it. You know, if you guys got to agree or disagree, then that's that's cool too. If you guys watch ESPN and FS1, Skip and Shannon, all these kind of people. Skip and Shannon might disagree on something all the time, you know. Skip likes the Cowboys. I don't think Shannon likes the Cowboys very much, but, you know, it's all good. You know, whatever. Having a debate, speaking that piece on it. And then it's all good, you know. All cool, all love, whatever. It's done. If y'all got to agree or disagree, cool. Uh, next time, do this, this, and this. Okay, my bad. Next time I'll do this and this, I'll come to you this, this, and that. And then it's all good. That's the best way I can put it. Like I said, this is just raw material, just raw. Just coming out and saying it and just speaking how I feel from the heart. And, um, you know, nothing wrong with apologizing. It doesn't make you, like, I guess weak or anything like that. You know, I just make you strong because you commit to your wrongdoing. And that is a very good trait and attribute to have. So, excuse me. Um, that's really that. Um, be sure to check on Boy's Shop, 7 Exchange, out of the Charleston Link in the description. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, blah, 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 blah. 
in the description. Uh, shout out to Shania and Willie. They made a new, well, they made a YouTube channel. Not new, but they made a YouTube channel. So, a um, couple of YouTube channels. So, they did that. So, link in the description for them as well. So, hit them up. All this kind of stuff. More videos coming out soon and um, more content. Uh, Christmas is rolling around too. So, I'll show you guys some new stuff around that time of the year. Well, it already is, but you know, later on, getting closer to that. So, that's really, that's all I really have to say. And um, you guys have a blessed day and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and all that kind of stuff. And uh, peace out.